Elk enchilada action. Just a drink. That's actually cow urine. It's all right, bro. It's good for you. Morning one here, excited, nervous as always when you start a hunt. We're here at the uh, Northern Cheyenne Tribe. We're about to head inside, get things squared away for the hunt, make sure we're good to go, know where we're going. Then after we get that squared away, introductions made, take care of the official business. It's all about finding the herd, getting the hunt kicked off, and uh, finding a big bull and hopefully getting one down so it couldn't be uh, more ready to go. Get the bow out and get something done. Morning, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Good. Good. Clayton, niece. I'm Blake. Your, your guy today. Oh, great. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And what are the hurt numbers like? I mean, typically. Uh, right, now, right now, we got, you know, just because we don't have the facilities yet to do a, an actual count. Uh, I'm saying about 200. Really? 180 to 200 head. Um, there's, like I said, they're split up in two herds. Yeah. One's, you know, one has about like 70, 80 in there. The other one has about 100. Okay. Just depends. Some days they, they will they will get together. And oh really? It's a pretty amazing sight. Big old herd, yeah. You see the big the big herd with all at once. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, you as well. You're heading out today. Yeah, that's the plan. Right. She's the director. Great. I appreciate you letting me come up. Yeah. Having me come up. Yeah. We'll try to set them up on a all right. decent bowl. All right. Let's go have a breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. It's supposed to say dark, not strong. Last bit of supplies. Got the anticipation before the hunt going on. Need to turn that camera around for a second and get old Yossi on there. Uh -huh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> last night he was trying to say, he said, you know, camera guy, I need to focus on getting my shots. So he said, I can't carry nothing. Your eyes can change tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sat at home my underwear because I was so damn depressed I didn't draw this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Deadly after 20, man. Deadly after 20. <laughs> Deadly after 20, yeah. Is that a look? Better to get them up in the tree line area, especially with the bow. You know, with the bow, and the stock on them in, but on the field, on the open, it's pretty tough to get close to them. A bigger laying down? Yeah. Flat. Inside voice, no cussing, no hollering. Uh, See this clump of trees? Yeah. The ridge on this side? Yeah. This is as far as we'll go right there, then from there we'll just spot and then. Uh, See what they do and put you to work, I guess. Hells yeah. So it is officially on. We have got up to the second point this morning, glassed for 30 seconds and, and spotted the herd. Quite a ways away, but we know exactly where they are. They shouldn't go far. So we're gonna get back in the vehicles, get a little closer. It looks like there's a nice little uh, area not far from them with some tree cover and stuff that we can get down into. Um, we'll get down as close as we can to put a plan together, so uh, move on. Clayton's put us on the herd here, and uh, they're just up over this hill. So we're in a great position now. Just gonna grab our stuff, creep up over here, see exactly where they are, find the bull that we want to take. But now the, now the hard part starts, so we'll see how close we can get, get into bow range.
thought we had the chess game won. They decided to put a little bit of pause on the game, so. Yeah. Been after them all day. We got a few hours left today. Every time we get a step ahead of them or think we're going to get a step ahead of them, they turn the opposite direction, so. It's been a challenge so far. It's been fun watching the herd move around and fighting around yeah. and cows picking out the most minor thing, yeah. you know. People think that a buffalo hunt's easy, God bless. It is, especially with a bow with a gun, yeah. Probably would've been game over by now, but doing it with the old stick and string and, you know, right now, it's like probably around three to one buffalo. It's all right, though. We can even the score. We'll even it out. We got time. We named we named one. Actually, we didn't. Blake named one of the uh, one of the bulls, James Brown. He's got this perfect, perfect fro, and uh, it's just awesome. And it was like the perfect name for that bull. He's, I mean, he's a big boy. Oh yeah, he's beautiful you know, brown man. It's ten, fifteen year old bull, big old bull and a crockett bull. He definitely deemed him the right name. Yeah. Yeah, he's number one on the list so oh, yeah. far. But James there's, Brown. There's plenty of good bulls out there. And we're, we know where there are. We just got to get get it to break our way. Yeah. So. Need one one good chance. We'll be all right. Till then, I guess we'll enjoy the scenery. Yeah. He's done, he's done. We're good, we're good. Sure. Yes, we're good. We're good, let down. Let down. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby.
absolute, absolute dream hunt in probably the most beautiful place I've ever hunted in my life. And then swim around. hours of day one we are uh, here at last light the hunt is obviously over got an amazing bowl down here uh, been an awesome day with hunting with the northern Cheyenne tribe just absolutely awesome herds on this on this land amazing terrain just absolutely beautiful most beautiful place I've ever hunted uh, we had one last chance to get on these took a hike down the hill got on this herd absolutely perfect scenario we were able to get a great shot get this big boy down it's a very rewarding hunt after a long day's hard work, but uh, we had a long, long night ahead of us cutting this bad boy up and getting him hauled out of here. Uh, it's not going to be easy, but uh, it feels good to have one down. Just an amazing end to an absolutely perfect hunt. Experience having a human experience. Philip Whiteland Jr. Yellowbird. I still speak our language and I still think from that language. And our language is of love and our language is of compassion. Our language is of mercy. And it's better to be kind than right. We have relied upon the buffalo for so many things, for food, for building shelter and clothing. Um, and our buffalo program really allows us to continue to attend to those things and, and allows us to practice and renew our stories and our knowledge about what it means to be a good relative. What we are hoping to do through our program is with the indigenous territory that we have and that the Northern Cheyenne uh, tribe governs is to rebuild those relationships between humans and buffalo. It's my honor to be a part of this program so I can continue to help carry on our stories. What keeps me uh, believing and knowing who I am are these stories. <laughs> 